need to see the motivator with the vibes that are greater. And I apologize for I have been glitching and my mic connection has been glitching as I would imagine just through all of the topics and notions and mentions within the string. <laughs> I can see myself glitching right now. looking at some TikTok videos and I figured that we should start off as we normally do. I find myself within a better flow whenever I have a general notion that I This way to be a little bit happier is to be more engaged in your job. Just to spend. Huh. The quickest way to be a little bit happier and more engaged in your job is to spend some time thinking about developing closer friendships. And I could not agree anymore. <laughs> In all honesty, oh, I am glitching. Mm. about developing closer friendships. Definitely a notion of truth within the amazing fact that I have somehow adapted to being a hermit, you know, to being still in the notions of still. You know, I had a long-term relationship and, you know, my advice would be for the ability to be with somebody that you can be still that you can enjoy, you know, that you can loosen up the reins within your mind, you know, conversations typically are 
where we grow and where we reflect where our soul reflects and sometimes you have that instance where a person just reads you perfectly probably knows everything about you and truly has your best interest at heart and who has the ability to guide you and just as the recommended channels you know to be suggested within consciousness consciousness of consciousness now speaking within the notions of conscious within consciousness we should start off with an energy read planetary first Spending time thinking about developing closer friendships. Mm, the quickest way to be a little bit happier and more engaged in your job is spending more time thinking about developing closer friendships. Hmm. Hmm. Stiggity, stiggity. So, maybe rather then read some planetary energy and because we are currently glitching in the matrix I would say that we should read from our daily bread and mind you I am grateful stickity stickity Right. Ernest Hemingway's first full-length novel features hard-drinking friends who recently endured World War I. They bear the liter literal and figurative scars of the war's devastation and try to cope with it via parties, grand adventures, and sleeping around. Always, there is alcohol to numb the pain. No one is happy. Hemingway's title for his book, The Sun Also Rises, comes straight from the pages of Ecclesiastes. In Ecclesiastes, King Solomon refers to himself as the teacher. He observes, everything is meaningless, and the sun rises and sets, the wind blows into the fro, the wiver, <laughs> the wiver, the wiver, the wiver flows, <laughs> the river flows endlessly, into a never satisfied sea. Ultimately, it's forgotten. Both Hemingway and Ecclesiastes confront us with the stark futility of 
living for this life only. Solomon, however, weaves bright hints of the divine into his book. There is permeance and real hope. Ecclesiastes shows us as we truly are, but it also shows God as he is. Everything does will endure forever. Or, I'm sorry, everything everything that God does will endure forever said Solomon and therein lies our great hope for God has given us a gift his son Jesus apart from God we're adrift in an endless never satisfied sea through his risen son Jesus were reconciled to him. And we discover our meaning, value, and purpose. What occupies your time and what meaning does it hold? A good question to ask yourself within the notion of your own mind, you know, and not forcefully within this read, I would mention how might you change your priorities to follow Jesus. And So, initially referencing Ernest Hemingway and the impact of his first full-length novel, people who recently endured World War One. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Oceanographer Sylvia has seen the deterioration of coral reefs firsthand. She found Mission Blue as an organization devoted to the development of global hope spots. <laughs> These special places around the world are critical to health of the ocean, which impact our lives on Earth. Through the intentional care for these areas, scientists have seen the relationships of underwater communities restored and lives of endangered species preserved. In Psalms 33, the psalmist acknowledges that God spoke everything into rain, into existence and ensured that all he made would stand firm. As God reigns over our generation and nations, he alone restores relationships, saves lives, and revitalizes hope. However, <clears throat> God invites us to join him in caring for the world and people he created. Each time we praise God for the whisper of a rainbow splashed across the clouded sky, or the glistening waves of ocean, <clears throat> and crashing against a rocky shore, and I would not fail to mention so that we can proclaim his safe and failing love. As we cherish and endure the vaults of presence and put our hope in him. 
one we're tempted to do uh, towards discouragement or fear as we consider the current state of the world, we may begin to believe that we can make a difference. When we do our part as members of God's care team, however, if we can honor Him as the Creator and help those trust in Jesus, how has God used nature to affirm your hope in Him? And that, within that notion, I pause for grat like certain gratitude within the essence of unfailing love as we put our hope into something solid, person, place, or thing. Help me be a hope spotter who faithfully serves on your care team. I didn't notice him at first. I'd come down for breakfast at my hotel. Everything in the dining room was clean. The buffet table was filled. The refrigerator was stocked. And the utensil container packed tight. Everything was perfect. Then I saw him. An unassuming man refilled this. Wiped that. Refilled this and wiped that. He didn't draw attention to himself. But the longer I sat, the more I was amazed. The man was working very fast, noticing everything and refilling <laughs> and refilling everything before anyone might need something. As a food service veteran, I noticed his constant attention to detail. Everything was perfect because this man was working faithfully. Even I had even if few noticed Watching this man work so meticulously, I recall Paul's words to the Thessalonians. Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders. Paul understood how a faith worker might win others' respect, offering a quiet testimony to how gospel can infuse even seemingly small acts of service for others with dignity and purpose. I don't know if the man I saw that day was a believer in Jesus, but I'm grateful his quiet diligence reminded me to rely on God to live out a quiet faithfulness that reflects his faithful ways. Mm. Stiggity, stiggity, that's deep. Mm. Mm. 
Refreshing word. Standing in the kitchen, my daughter exclaimed, Mom, there's a fly in the honey. I, I crept back with a familiar edge. You'll always catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Although this was the first time I'd accidentally caught a fly with honey. I found myself quoting this modern proverb because of its wisdom. Kind requests are more likely to persuade others than a bitter attitude. <clears throat> the book of Proverbs gives us a collection of wise proverbs and sayings that inspire, <clears throat> that are inspired by God's spirit. These inspired sayings help us to guide us. <laughs> help us to guide us. They help to guide us. And to teach us more important truths about how to live life in ways that honor God. As I was grading another stack of papers for a college writing class, as I teach, I was impressed with one particular paper. It was written, uh, it was so well with it. It was so well written. A little research revealed that the paper had been plagiarized from an online source. I sent the student an email to let her know that her ruse had been discovered. There are many ways that God's grace enhances our life redeems us from errors and saves us by giving us salvation. We believe it through the law under grace. Elsewhere, There are many ways that you can perceive laws under grace. Oh, you know, laws under grace. You know, things and stuff and such.
Mm. Her ruse had been discovered. I am glitching. I'm not sure if the live feed is glitching on my end. It is, or not on my end. On my perspective, within my perspective. From my perspective, I'm gosh glad you like this. Things and stuff and such. So, From this uh, vantage point, I would... circumstances and things and stuff and such that what did Jake Hole say? That two legends could not coexist. When everybody knows that that's not the case. From my perspective, personally. Mm. 
Mm. As we read some energy and enjoy. <clears throat> the glitched literally mind you because I'm eating and because I'm glitched in the matrix but I'm mentioning some real shit Taki and mushrooms because they are good for your health Unhealthy snacking. So I tried to reward twice and one time the audio was completely lagged and echoey. It's still is it stiggity stiggity broadcast. Uh, I wouldn't mention that it was a broadcast, it was a stiggity stiggity video. Mm. Anywho does. I enjoy my I enjoy rewatching my content. I enjoy my company. <laughs> That and I be saying some some off the wall things sometimes. <laughs> and your Odyssey says the darndest things. Not things, mind you. That would be counterintuitive for my happiness you know I'm here to make I'm here making y'all happy the videos I'm, I'm making myself happy because I enjoy recording you know I enjoy being myself and, and figuring out a format hmm that I enjoy to record. You know, having the schedule, like, you know, reading the planetary energy, word of the day, and then mm, some daily bread. Or sometimes I read a little bit of a book that I've read or that I'm still reading and mind you i'm not talking about like things in seven touch i'm not i'm mentioning actual books We didn't have internet as far as reading. All we'd have was books. And so, for that fact, um, the beyond the entertainment, the door open for. Communication. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't really 
I can say that, honestly. <laughs> but like, um, I'm thinking about, it. Mm, you know, hmm. thinking the same thing. Mm, patient. I'm happy for y'all being patient with me. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's patient with me. Rather that we are enjoying the time. And Benda. Hmm. And that doesn't mean shit. And it really does at the same time. You know, those are really hurtful words. You know, no, that doesn't mean shit. And then, again, I lie. Are those actually hurtful words? Or have people in society been utilizing certain rhetoric? That it, people sometimes make it their jobs to try to promote negativity in one way or another, whether it's a, a silent nudge of unstigity, you know, whether it be a comment. And whenever I rewatch myself, I realize whenever I am being a meanie and I have a a rope like a it's a like a roller coaster. You know <laughs> life is a roller coaster between opinions and life views <clears throat> critiques critics critiques <laughs> critiques critics <laughs> mm, I do mm. be a whole situation sometimes Some people strive for greatness. Some people strive for reputation. Some people strive for the various things, people, places, instances, notions, certainties that we live for, that we essentially in our mind make our job and not necessarily our job rather our patience to translate and to be able to, not able, to be of etherically sound mind, and, you know, that is 
continents felt. I'm not sure how in the news outlets or people within the media would view this conversation, though I'm sure I can tab and again, a horrible reference, <laughs> things and stuff and such. But leave tabs don't apply their makeup flawlessly. You know, that is a talent. Intelligence and education are not the same thing. It's true. Intelligence implies that there there is common sense. Within general regards, I would mention. No tone, I'm just mentioning general regards. Contradicting myself, how if you already know the answers to some certain things, just intuitively, just a wild guess. I'm a born identity. I'm a dumbass. What's today? Mm. Maybe, maybe today I dumbass. 
kemarin hmm. I have faith Did I tell you the story about whenever I was a little girl and me and my mom used to go to the bank? I may have mentioned. I should save that podcast. I'm pretty sure I mentioned the story before. How do you react whenever you slow down your communication? If you talk at, you know, a thousand words per minute and, you know, I question the obscure things about them, the obscure, I don't question, I mention, and Figadilla, figadilla. <clears throat> What's it spy nowadays, anyway? Is it a spy or. Uh, what's that? A, a fly on the wall. If I, were, if I were a fly on the wall. Share it to you, dude. You're just, you're just chilling. <clears throat> Should I game? Make a game. You know, we are so glitchy right now. button and there's not a button for time is there a button for time i can't find the time button <laughs> come here often <laughs> damn it Tim. they didn't tell you about the time button yeah apparently the world has been Taken over by androids <laughs> and <laughs> Opulus. <laughs> Op no, uh, it is <laughs> it is through the essence of Opulus that we. <laughs> Mm, travel through space and time. 
ねえうん This vibe right here, I guide crew, you know, I, I enjoy cruise ships and the gravitational pull from the mass of my personality <laughs> creates tidal waves.、Uh. So, because from my end, we are so freaking glitchy right now. I want to stay in chat、uh, as forever.、Uh, and not in a morbid way. I'm, I'm sure that that could be portrayed in a morbid way. Things and stuff and such. You know, some people think that. You know, some things are morbid. I think that some things are genius. That is almost like whenever you're on mushrooms and you're at a festival and you stray away from your friends, family, you know, your security. And you find yourself lost, and everyone begins, you know, showing their souls through a seemingly 3D perspective, and everyone is demons. and And then, so I'm not saying that everybody's demons, I'm saying that I have the ability to. I can. We all notice sometimes the sudden shifts, and、I've, I think that's collectively, you know. Having to do with the people, places, things that you're connected to, that that you reference, that you have reference to. And the nurturing spiritually, this episode has been. And I mention that you. Mm, should tune in, stay tuned, and stay amazing. See、mm, you next time. Bye bye.